you will learn how to set NTFS permissions and share permissions in Windows Server 2003 environment by tech.petercrash.com First let's log on to the server with administrative rights. Go to the my computer. In my computer, select the drive in which the folder is available or you can give a permission to a drive. Right click on the drive, go to properties. As you can see, there is gen in the tab list, click on security. As you can see, there is users are available. There is administrator. These are the users by default. They uh, they are there. Everyone user always have some kind of special permission. And users users means the users which are a member of a domain. They are having these kind of permissions. First is read and execute list folder content and read permission. Now you can give user appropriate permission as you want. Now let's go into the drive. Now there are two types of permissions are apply on the server. One is NTFS permission and other one is share permission. Both of these permission work together. That means both of these permissions are applied together and the most restricted permissions is applied. Now to give a permission to a particular folder for a user, right click on the folder, go to properties, click on sharing. Now this is a sharing permission tab. You can allow users and disallow users as you want in for sharing permission. Now click on permission tab. As you can see there is a everyone group. You can also remove everyone group by clicking on remove. Now everyone group has been removed. That means now nobody have a sharing permission on this particular folder. Now go to add and if you want to add a particular user or a group you can add it from this. Let's select a user from the list. Click OK. As you can see the username. Now again click OK. As you can see I have selected one user. By default the user is having a permission of read. I want to give this user full control. Click on full control. Apply OK. Then let's go to the security tab click on security as you can see there is also the every the user group has been added by default this group is ha having a permission of read and execute access control list of the folder content and read permission that means all the users in active directory can read the uh, folders folders uh, files now as before we removed all the everyone group from the share permission nobody can access this folder now let's add a user select the, the user from the list and click ok and then ok as you see I have added this user permission for this user Now by default the permission for this particular user is write uh, only read permission, list folder content and read and execute. I will give this particular user modify permission. Modify permission means now user can also delete any files in the folder. 
user can also change the content of the file and save it you can also see what special permission user is having right click on the folder go to properties click on security click on advanced click on effective permission click on select type the username or go to advance click on find now select the user and click okay and and then okay as you can see it is showing a, a effective permission for this particular user as you can see this user having delete permission write permission all the permission he is needed to control this particular folder if we give a full control to this user user can also remove other users and also give others users permission thank you for watching our tutorial in our next tutorial we will show